to do my trade day results video. So uh, before we start, uh, I've had a few questions of where the trade pile is now. And my trade day pile is now at the end of my video uh, of my updated trade pile. So if you're wondering where it is, it's there. So I'm going to check my trade offers right now. There's about two minutes left. So we got Shea Weber, start of the week. Uh, 80k uh, for Weber is off by about 40 to 50k, so I'll reject that. Seven fires and probably all troll trades. Uh, very funny. Alright, I'll just reject all of those. And okay. Uh, we'll move on to Daniel Sedin with two trade offers. Alright, so we got Rick Nash, Marlowe, and Sedin. So Nash is about 130. Marlowe's about 120, so you got about 250. And Daniel Sedin's about 45, so you got 295 altogether for Daniel Sedin. And I would rather not take that offer, so sorry about that. Um, Alright, guys, so this guy decided that he would send me uh, troll trades throughout the whole uh, trade pile video, so I'm just gonna let you guys know now that I'm gonna cut out random parts of the video where I'm sifting through just random offers of crap so uh just wanted to let you know that you're not gonna miss anything when there's a cut in the clip so thanks all right so martin st louis we got an offer uh daniel sedin henrik sedin bowmeister and edler so these two are about 90k together uh, bowmeister is about three four k edler is about 10k so adds up to around 100k so I'd rather not take that offer, so I'm going to reject it. Alright, so we got Marlowe, Nash, Sharp, Daniel City, and 10k. Um, it's a good trade offer, just I do not want those three players. Uh, it adds up to about 315, 320, so I'd rather just not take that. Never really had this problem before, but anyways, I was going to take this offer, uh, Purcell and 30k, and basically this adds up to about the Cavalier's value. Uh, it's a good trade offer because Purcell is worth about 14 to 15k, so added together is about 45k, so I'll take that offer. So thanks for the trade, uh, and enjoy your Le Cavalier. So I'll send that to my trade pile. Alright, so... Hosa, any of these trades real? Alright, so none of them. Uh, Chara, 285k and Kessler. So, uh, if you have seen my previous videos, I did buy Chara for 250. So, getting this offer of 285 and Kessler, while the market is pretty much dead, it's a pretty good trade offer. So, I'll delay that for now. Chara now. So thanks for the trade offer and enjoy your start of the week Chara. So I'll send Kessler back to my trade pile and I sold uh, Kessler from my last trade pile so uh, if you don't see him here that's probably the reason why. Oh my bad. Uh, moving on to Datsuk who has two trade offers. So 25,000 with Cavalier, Marlowe, Brunner, uh, no thanks. These guys don't have to that's its value. And I got this trade offer of 182000 and start of the week Vishnovsky. And it's a pretty fair trade in my opinion. You got Datsuk who's about two hundred to 210000 now. And the 108000 plus Lubavir Vishnovsky is a pretty fair trade. So I'm going to take that offer. So thanks again for that trade offer. And I'll send Vishnovsky back to my trade pile. So thanks for the trade. Uh, Malkin, I know I'm going to, I, I think I'm going to, wait, actually this just came in. Gabrick's about 90, Nash is about 30, 120, 140, 150, 160, 170. So, it's about 170, 160, 170, and I'd rather not take that offer, so I'm going to reject that. Uh, 25,000, Kovalchuk and Lad. Uh, Kovalchuk goes for 120. So you're getting about 160 in total for all these, so I'll rather reject that. 
uh, Keith Yandel, who goes for about 130. Kessler, who goes for about 25. So you got about 155. Uh, Burroughs and Schneider. No thanks. Rather keep Vulcan. And we have Marlowe and Gagne. So Marlowe's about 120. Gagne is about 25. So you got 145 plus 8k, so no thanks. The other offers were better. Alright, so any of these legit trades? Nope. Uh, Malkin with one. So 15k, Neil, Falcon, Broder, and Mason. No thanks. I'll reject that offer. Uh, nope. Uh, got Stahl here. Garrison, no. Carl and Volkun. Carl goes for about 25k. Volkun goes for about 10k, so that's 35. And I know that Mark Stahl, there's none in the market right now, and I probably could get a better deal for him later, so I'll reject that offer. But thanks for the trade. Uh, we got now is uh, none of these guys. Uh, Fnuf. So we got Green and Petrangelo. Green's about 12k, Petrangelo is about 9k, with the 1k pucks, which is 10k, so you got 12k plus 10k is 22k, and Fnuf's around 20, so that's a really good offer for me, in my opinion, so I'm going to accept that offer, and thanks, yeah, so that's going to be added to my tree pile, and hopefully you enjoy your Fnuf. All right. Alright, so for Havlat, we got Carl, which is about 25k, but like I said, so that's 100k. Bowmeister, Backstrom, and Stajan, so it's a good offer, but I do not need these three players. If you sent another player, then I maybe would have accepted it. Alright, guys, so I got a trade offer for Chara, and it's a pretty good deal. Uh, Chara's about 55 and 60k right now. Uh, Garrison's going for about 20, so you got about 55k, plus King, who's about 8 to 9k, so you're getting it over 60 with this trade offer, so uh, it's a good offer, so I'll accept that offer. So thanks for the trade, and I'll be sending these guys to my trade pile. Alright, so this guy just keeps on saying these troll trades. Probably going to put on Crosby next. Uh, most of them are probably fake. And... This guy has nothing better to do in his time at 1.40 a.m. except to send troll trades. So, hopefully he has a good life. Got better, nothing better to do. Like, go sleep. Same with me, but I actually gotta make a video. So, probably none of these are real. Yep. Hopefully this guy's having fun. So it looks like that's about it. Uh, I'll show, I'll update you guys on Crosby if there's any trades that are uh, worth looking at. Other than that, that's probably the end of the trade day, and I will, uh, I'll show you guys my new updated trade pile in a little bit. I have six hundred thousand pucks right now, and I'm thinking about buying a player for next trade day. So all those trades I made today have built up to you know, built up for another player. So. Uh, I'll be updating you guys with a new trade pile soon, so see you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, uh, a trade offer came in for Crosby, which actually very interesting. Uh, 20 trades are probably all fake, but uh, if I scroll through these, uh, there is one good trade in there, and that is Marion Gabrick Star of the Week and 105k, so it's a good trade offer. Gabrick goes for around, I'd say, let's say 800. 850 maybe uh, at the 100k pucks you got about 950 uh, Crosby is going for around that surprisingly and it's a good trade offer but I think you're missing a little bit with the trade uh, I don't really need a Gabrick for my Crosby like if you compare the stats it's like 105k is not going to do it so I'm going to reject that but thanks for the trade offer all right Alright, new trade offer came in. I started the week Backstrom and Gretzky. 
Uh, it's a good trade offer, but it just does not add up. So sorry, I have to reject that. And it looks like I'm not going to get any trade offers or bids on Crosby. Um, last 30, last 8 seconds. Congratulations, you have succeeded in pissing me off. So, so these are all the new players I have for my trade pile, and I will make a new trade day update. So, see you guys in the next clip. So, trade day is done, and I put these guys up all for 24 hours again. And I just want to say that after all the hecticness and all the troll trades, you know what? It was a pretty good trade day. I mean, I sold four players, I think, and I came out with 600,000 pucks and a few more players that I added to the list, so overall, it was pretty successful. Uh, I was going to buy a, another player, but I could not find any high-end players that were good, so I decided that I would just save up the pucks for the next trade day, and hopefully we can buy someone even better next time. Maybe a start of the week Gabrick, or maybe a start of the week Kovalchuk for the next one. So... For this one, we have uh, Weber, Sidin, Hossa, Havlat, St. Louis, Stahl, the Cavalier, Stahl, the other Mark Stahl, Jason Stahl, Mark Stahl, uh, Roy, Erickson, uh, Vizhnovsky, Gagne, Purcell, Garrison, Yager, Vizhnovsky again, Hasek, uh, Evgeny Malkin, Duchesne, Bufflin, Kessler, Kane, Petra Angelo, Green, Carlson, Samuels, and of course Crosby again. So. Uh, these guys are all up for 24 hours and will end at around 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for tomorrow. Um, about the, the Nicholas Cromwell giveaway, I will be doing it at around 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and I will be doing it live on my computer. So you'll see the process I've taken to choose the winner and just to show you that it's all legitimate. So uh, thanks for watching and have a good day, guys. Bye.